Detailed information today about the death of a well-liked fire captain. Police are accusing Bob Pointer's wife of calling for help while together with another man, killing him. Right now at 5 o'clock, our Steve Pickett on the story in Royce City with this new information for us. Steve? Yeah, and a chock full of information, not evidence, if you will, from the police department investigating this, but as you mentioned, actual statements from the woman who's now behind bars accused of being involved in this murder. Uh, she, of course, the victim, her husband, right at this location back on Saturday is where it's happened. Police say she actually admitted conspiring with her lover to kill her husband. Chasey Pointer wanted her husband, Robert, to hurt the way she heard, according to her statement to Roy City Police. The difference? Chasey Pointer plotted to kill her husband, and investigators say she followed through with her boyfriend. An affidavit released by Roy City Police today details the killing of University Park Fire Captain Robert Pointer. According to the documents, Chasey Pointer admits talking with Michael Garza, her alleged lover, about a plan to kill her husband and making it look like a robbery. The affidavit details a motive for the shooting. Wife Chasey saying her husband abused her, threatened to divorce her, and take their daughter. The duo could be together if Bob Pointer was gone. She drove Garza to this county road Saturday night. The affidavit indicates she then called her husband, saying she was stuck. When Bob Pointer arrived, Chasey told police Garza walked up and shot the firefighter in the head. And as it stands right now, both of those individuals in Hunt County custody, uh, Mr. Garza on a $1 million bond, uh, Ms. Pointer being held on a half million dollar bond for conspiracy to commit murder, Mr. Garza on a murder charge. And we just learned, received this email from uh, the University Park Fire Department, funeral services for Captain Pointer will be held on Thursday. Reporting live, Steve Pickett, CBS 11 News.